Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Part of the eye which controls the light entering is called. Option A Iris. Option B Cornea. Option C Lens. Option D Retina. The right answer is option A. Iris. The iris controls the amount of light entering in the eye. Question number 2. We can see a non-luminous object when light. Option A emitted by the object falls on the eye. Option B is reflected from the object towards our eye. Option C completely passes through the object. Option D gets completely absorbed by the object. The right answer is option B. Is reflected from the object towards our eye. A non-luminous object does not produce its own light, but it reflects light from other sources. We can see a non-luminous object, when light is reflected from the object towards our eyes. Question number 3. Light is falling on surface S1, S2, S3 as shown in figure 16.1. Surfaces on which the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection is slash R. Option A S1 only. Option B S1, and S2 only. Option C S2, and S3. Option D all the three surfaces. The right answer is option D. All the three surfaces. In all the three surface, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Question number 4. A tiny mirror M is fixed on a piece of cardboard placed on a table. The cardboard is illuminated by light from a bulb. The position of I with respect to position of bulb is shown in figure 16.2, as A, B, C and D. In which position mirror will be visible? Option A A. Option B B. Option C C. Option D D. The right answer is option A. The mirror will be visible in position A. Question number 5. A small hole P is made in a piece of cardboard. The hole is illuminated by a torch as shown in figure 16.3. The point of light coming out of the hole falls on a mirror. At which point, should the eye be placed so that the hole can be seen? Option A A. Option B B. Option C C. Option D D. The right answer is option A. I should be placed at A to see the hole. Since, angle of incidence should be equal to angle of reflection. Question number 6. 
Two mirrors A and B are placed at right angles to each other as shown in figure 16.4. A ray of light incident on mirror A at an angle of 25 degrees falls on mirror B after reflection. The angle of reflection for the ray reflected from mirror B would be Option A 25 degree Option B 50 degree Option C 65 degree Option D 115 degree The right answer is option C 65 degree The angle of reflection for that ray reflected from mirror B would be 65 degree Question number 7 which of the following statements is correct, regarding rods and cones in the human eye? Option A. Cones are sensitive to dim light. Option B. Cones are sensitive to bright light. Option C. Rods are sensitive to bright light. Option D. Rods can sense color. The right answer is option B. Cones are sensitive to bright light. Cones are sensitive to bright light. Rods are sensitive to dim light. Question number 8. In the figure of the human eye, figure 16.5, the cornea is represented by the letter Option A A Option B B Option C C Option D D The right answer is Option C C The transparent front part of an eye is called cornea Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.